Welcome to another InfraScale training video. Today we're going to be going through the InfraScale dashboard. So what is it, who uses it, and what can be done there? First, a little bit about the InfraScale platform. So we have backup, disaster recovery, and archiving and file sharing for a whole breadth of devices from your mobile devices, meaning your smartphones, as well as your larger mobile devices like laptops and then desktops and then your ser your application servers, your web servers and the like. So with such a distributed network of information you need a central place to be able to manage it because it's no longer as simple as just being able to say everything's on site on this network. The way this works is that everything is connected to a centralized web-based dashboard, whether you're using our cloud services or privately hosted services, you'll always have this centralized web-based dashboard to do your key remote management configuration and monitoring. With that, let's go ahead and jump into the dashboard. So here we are logged in as a partner and you have your top menu bar here that gives you management options so you can manage the different types of users that are in this system. So you have companies which are a way to group your customers together. So one business may be a company. Then you have your backup accounts which are actually accounts that belong to a company and then devices and devices would fall under the backup accounts. Then you also have your appliances which are your disaster recovery as a service offerings. Uh, this includes things like Cloud Boot and Boot on Appliance, and this can either be a virtual appliance on site or physical, and you can see and manage all that from here. Then you have different backup policies, so what do you want people to back up and when, or do you want email reports sent, this type of thing. This can all be managed here. And then you have different licenses as far as bare metal backup and recovery, as well as exchange granular recovery licenses. Next we have monitoring, so this shows you what's happening in the system. So every deployment, a backup account and a, plus a device plus a, a backup account type, this is going to show up in your monitoring events. And this is where most of your day-to-day -day management is going to happen. You go into your monitoring view and you can see a summary here at the top as well. Or you can see here that we have uh, partners, companies, and accounts if you wanted to manage based on quota usage you could do that here as well. So you have a number of ways to get summary information as far as what's happening. Your reporting, this is when you would give your customers information as far as this is what's happened in the last 30, 60, or 90 days, things like this. So this is when you give them your monthly charge for services rendered, this is part of that report that you can provide to them. In the applications, we have our standard downloads, as well as the ability to create a custom MSI used for mass deployment. You should check out our mass deployment video for more information about that. And then probably the first step is to come into your settings and adjust your rebrand settings. So what company name, what email address, what do, what do your customers see when they're going through the application and the services? And you can modify this, you can modify the email templates, you can modify monitoring settings as far as where alerts are sent, if there's a warning or an error, do you want it to be sent to your ticketing system to automatically generate a ticket for your team to then take care of. And then last but not least, we have our health section where we have release notes that show everything that we released over uh, the last year or so. So you can select a tab based on the type of release you're looking for. You also have Partner Resource Center, which has different videos, documentation, these sorts of things. You can chat with one of our representatives right away for more information, or you could go to our knowledge base. So these are just a few ways in which we can take care of uh, our customers and how our customers can use the dashboard to suit them. So thanks, and have a good one.